Hi everybody, welcome back to another crafting show with me, Aviva, your art director from the Ed Osner Family Center. Today we are going to be doing a style of pointillism for today's project. We are going to be making our own sandpaper art inspired by the style of pointillism. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about it today, a little bit of art history for you folks. We don't usually do it, but let's do a little sprinkle of it. We are going to be talking all about the style of pointillism. It's a modern art form. You know, the style is all about painting little dots in all different types of colors that kind of create this illusion of, you know, bringing a form together. So one of the most famous artist out there is called, uh, his name is George Seurat and he is a French painter and he just masters the style of pointillism. If you are familiar, this is a very famous painting here. Can you guys see it? Let me bring it up a little bit closer for you folks just so you can really get a good look at it. Ooh, okay. This painting is called A Sunday, Sunday Afternoon on the Island of Le Grand Jeté. Le Grand Jeté. I, I don't speak French. Forgive me. But, you know. So here, actually, let me give you a little bit more of a close-up here. Because from a distance, you know, looking at it from where you folks are, just looks like a beautiful scenic portrait of some folks having a picnic by the river. But if you look a little bit closer here, let me see if I can give you a better look. We've got, you know, still a uh, outward perspective of like just a nice scenic view, but I've got a little bit of a closer up ver version here for you. Just check out this little corner here with the sailboat. We're gonna do a little bit of a zoom in and you can see that all these little spaces here, all of the boat, the water, Everything is made out of a bunch of different colored dots and it kind of gives us illusion of the color green Even though every single color dot is blues and yellows to create that color of green So he's kind of mixing colors without actually mixing any colors at all So we're going to be working in this type of style today by using sandpaper actually because, you know, it's tedious. Making a bunch of dots, that's gonna take all day. This painting, I think, took George about like two years. So we don't got that kind of time. We are going to be using sandpaper today and the grainy texture of the sandpaper to, you know, give that same effect, you know? So I'm gonna tell you some of the materials you're gonna be needing for this project today. So I've already said it. You're gonna need some sandpaper. I'm doing a little bit of recycling, taking an old piece, you know, out of the garage and using it for our project. You're going to need a piece of paper. I think the thicker the better. I've got some watercolor paper here today. And you are going to also both be needing some wax paper as well to cover your sandpaper when we it's over there, it's heating up. We've got the iron as well, like a clothing iron that we'll be using to kind of press in the crayon into the paper. We're gonna be using that waxy crayon texture to make our pattern. So, why don't we get started and yeah, I'll take you along step by step. What we're going to do is we're gonna start off with our sandpaper, rough side up, and almost like we are drawing on the pavement, we are going to be drawing, uh, like, you know, I I'm, meant I'm more like chalk on the pavement. We've got all of these bumps. So when we add our design to our sandpaper, just like drawing on the pavement with chalk, you really wanna make sure that you get into most of the grooves of the sandpaper. So you're gonna wanna add a few layers of crayon to your sandpaper as you go. I definitely pushed a little bit too hard on this crayon, but you know, that's the kind of force that you definitely do want to be using. Maybe not as hard as I went, but that's okay. We could still use the, the crayon and this piece as well. To 
So even though I've finished my design, my flower that I've made, I still want to cover all the other um, sections of this sandpaper because we kind of want to end up with a little bit of a square print, almost like we're screen printing. design, a little flower. You can see it kind of blends together. You can't see much of the colors right now, but now you just wait and see. So now on a fresh piece of paper, we're going to take our sandpaper. We're going to flip our design upside down. So now we're soft side up and we are going to take our wax paper just for a little bit of precaution, make sure that our paper doesn't burn, and we're just going to lay it over the top. If it helps, you can tape the edges as well. So now I've got my handy dandy clothing iron, and I've got everything covered and ready to go, and with being as, you know, being as careful as possible, you don't want to shift your drawing around or you'll kind of lose the form of your pattern. Very carefully, I'm going to iron out my design and, you know, feel free to grab some help around this point if you don't feel super confident around an iron. Here is my original, definitely melted together a little bit more. And we got a slight pointillism here and you can see what happens when you don't really push in enough. So my example here is not quite as successful as I thought it'd be, but you know, you get the picture of how you can have this really no, no stress, no tedious line uh, spotting, you know, to get a really cool pointless design. It's definitely not as bold as I wanted it to be, but here I have another example that I've made earlier. I kind of drew this cool like little dragon's eye and I did the process of pushing it in and when you end up with like a lot of layers of crayon, you can see your design a whole lot better. So. Just a really cool and fun way to get like that same pointillism effect without all the effort needed in the end. So that's gonna be our project today. I hope you had a lot of fun doing this really fun pointillistic style of art, a little bit different. If you'd like to see more videos that are based off of different styles of art, um, incorporating art history into our crafts, you know, comment below. I read all of your comments. And if you've tried this project, I'd love to see your results. So email that to me at aviva at edasnerfamilycenter.org or just, you know, drop it in our comments below. And yeah, I will see you guys next time for another really fun crafting project. And yeah, keep on crafting, folks. See you next time. Bye.